Hello everyone, my name is Tristan, and today I'm going to be explaining the process of mitosis and cell division. So, here I have a little chart that shows all the phases of mitosis plus some other ones. So, we have interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and finally, cytokinesis. However, in the process of mitosis, it only involves prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. It only has four phases to it. So you might be asking, what about interphase and cytokinesis? Well, interphase and cyto cytokinesis are not actually part of the mitosis process. However, they are part of cell division. So I will explain them one by one. First of all, let's start with interphase. Now, a cell spends most of its time in interphase doing its cell jobs and replicating its DNA. However, when the time is needed, when it is ready, it will start moving into mitosis, which is the first phase, prophase. So it goes from interphase into prophase. As you can see by this diagram, there is a nucleus. However, the nucleus is starting to get smaller and starting to disappear, getting ready and getting in preparation for the cell splitting. So we have our chromosomes in here and the nucleus is getting smaller. After prophase, you move into metaphase. And in metaphase, you can see that there is no more nucleus. It has fully disappeared. And the chromosomes right here, you can see that they are in a weird way. They are lining up right in the middle of the cell. And this is so that they can be split in half and go to one side or the other side of the cell for cell division. So that each sister cell, I mean daughter cell, once split, will have the exact same and uh, amount and the exact same chromosomes. So after metaphase, you move into anaphase. And here you can see that these arrows are actually representing the spindles. And these spindles are these fibers, like fiber strings kind of. And they are holding and guiding the chromosomes so that they can be split in half and go to one side of the cell or to the other side of the cell, getting ready for the splitting procedure. And once anaphase is completed, once the chromosomes are on this side or on this side, then it starts moving into telophase, which is where the actual splitting starts to happen as represented by these right here. And here you can see that it's starting to take form of two separate cells and trying to turn into two different circles and you might notice that there are actually nucleus now there is a nu there is a nucleus here and a nucleus here so now we have two nuclei preparing for the splitting so that each daughter cell can have its own nuclei and inside of the nucleus we can see that the chromosomes are there holding the dna so that each cell will be the exact same we don't want some stomach and one skin. That just won't work. We want both skin or both stomach cells. So after that, we move into the final process of cytokinesis, where the two daughter cells have finally fully split. They are two different cells by themselves. They are, they are identical, but they are still separate. They are functioning by themselves. You can see that we have our nucleus, and inside of that nucleus, we also have our chromosomes, and each one has the exact same amount. So now, instead, we have two different skin cells or stomach cells instead of just one. And this process will keep on repeating and repeating as necessary. Thank you for listening, and I hope you learned a little bit. Bye!